for watching this report tutorial. Um, this is an example report uh, that will look somewhat similar to what you'll be receiving. Um, this is an example of a law practice in Texas that's using AdWords. So some of your metrics may vary. Uh, you are gonna find some uh, most things are going to be very similar. Um, after watching this video, if you do still have questions, please feel free to reach out to your support team with any questions that you have. Now, a couple things before we get started. Um, you do want to think about your particular account and what your conversion types are, what you're tracking for uh, your favorable metrics, such as phone calls, it could be purchases if you're an e-commerce website, it could be lead generation if you're wanting people to fill out forms on your website, Site. Conversions are going to be the, the primary metric that we focus around. So make sure that uh, conversion tracking is set up. Your first report, we may still be in process of getting your conversion tracking set up, depending on what type of website you have, what your shopping carts, uh, the way it's set up, and all those pieces. Um, so do keep in mind that um, it's critical that we have conversion tracking set up so that uh, we, we can work properly with that. Um, now, uh, if uh, your conversion tracking is not implemented, um, one other area that you can focus on is click-through rate uh, along with clicks as well as costs. So um, those are going to be other good healthy metrics to look at, which I'll explain what those mean here in just a moment. Um, and then also you make sure to note the dates on each section of the report. So if you look up here, um, we're looking at the last 30 days. Um, there are going to be some sections that are going to be looking at the last three months. So make sure you are looking at the date ranges uh, because different date ranges are going to be relevant to different types of work that's uh, taking place um, as we progress through your account. The executive summary is going to be a good place for you to get a uh, 10,000, 30,000 foot uh, view of what's going on with your account each month. Um, so that's what we've included here in the top section here. Now you're going to see metrics uh, such as impressions, cost, estimated total conversions, cost per estimated total conversion, click, and click through rate. What these mean, uh, if you're not familiar, impressions, uh, every time your ad is served, uh, Google counts that as an impression. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that there was an action taken, uh, meaning the ad wasn't necessarily clicked on, um, but the ad was shown to a user. So in a search result, uh, essentially that means that your ad showed up, um, but the user either didn't click on anything on that search result, or they could have clicked on uh, an organic listing or one of the competing ads. So we're wanting to get an idea of how many times these uh, your ads are being shown, because we can use that data to help us uh, with other, when we're looking at it in comparison to some of the other data, it's going to help us out quite a bit. Cost, what this is, is this is uh, how much was spent in AdWords during the last 30 days. Um, so you'll want to make sure whatever your budget is, uh, we do fairly good at staying within plus or minus 5 to 10% of what your allotted budget is. Um, and just make sure that we're on target uh, to, to make sure that we're hitting that every 30 days. Um, Estimated total conversions, this is a number pulled directly from AdWords. So whatever you're tracking as conversions, this is what uh, Google is pulling as your conversions for that 30-day period. Cost per ETC, which stands for short estimated total conversions, is simply the cost divided by conversions is where this number comes from. Um, clicks, uh, this is going to be uh, w how many times your ads were actually clicked on. So in relation to impressions, uh, in this particular example, there were nearly 30,000 impressions, which netted us uh, a little over 1,000 clicks. So click-through rate is essentially what that is, is that is clicks divided by impressions. Um, and that's where we get that percentage. So benchmark data to, to look at is uh, Google wants a minimum of 1% on a click-through rate. If you're above 2%, you're doing really well. There are some industries that are a little bit more competitive, so click-through rate can drop below that 1%, but uh, typically we aim to be well above that 2% mark. Now, also on the executive summary, uh, you'll notice that there's a smaller number below each of these metrics. Uh, this was the previous 30 days. 
days. So if you notice in the title or in the section header, last 30 days compared to the previous 30 days, the number below is the previous 30 days. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, you know trends are going in the direction that uh, are going to be most profitable for your business. The easiest way to dissect this is take a look at if you're tracking conversions, are your conversions going up? which in this scenario, they've gone up substantially in the last 30 days. And is your cost per conversion going down? Uh, that is a good signal that you're getting a good ROI, so long as conversions are being tracked properly. So with the executive summary, I, I've mentioned conversion several times, so I'm going to cover this part as well, conversion type. Um, every AdWords account is different, every business is different, and their, the priorities are going to be different uh, for each and every one of our clients. So we do have a total of 227 conversions during the last 30 days. This is showing uh, what they're broken out as. So we have one conversion that is phone calls. Uh, these are phone calls that are taking place on the website. We're using a call tracking software to track those users and bring that data into AdWords. Calls from ads, that is people who have uh, looked up on a mobile phone, our ad has shown up and they've clicked on the ad itself. So there was only one of those. So obviously the majority of the focus uh, is happening on, on the website. So it gives us some good insight there. So um, again, this is a great place if you're in a hurry and you just need a, a quick overview of how your AdWords account is doing. Um, take a look at your total uh, conversions, your total uh, cost per conversion. We'll, we may sometimes use the term instead of cost slash uh, estimated total conversions, we may say something like CPA, which stands for cost per acquisition. That's a term that's used in AdWords. We may say cost per conversion, just to make it a little bit simple. Uh, or you may see us uh, in an email typing out cost slash C-O-N-V period. So short for conversions on that. The sessions by channel section, um, even if you're only using AdWords with us, we're still going to show you as long as we have access to analytics. We're going to give you an idea as far as how much volume is coming from each of your three main channels, which are going to be paid search, direct traffic, and organic search. So paid search traffic, that's going to be what's coming in from AdWords, unless we're also doing Bing as well. Direct traffic, that means somebody typed in the website uh, and they went directly to the website. Organic traffic is going to be if uh, someone typed in a keyword and an organic listing. So basically all the other stuff that's not paid uh, showed up. Um, a lot of the, the time these are going to be branded terms. Um, so it just gives you a general idea. Uh, this doesn't necessarily reflect the performance of your AdWords campaign, but it does give you a little bit of an overall picture as far as where your traffic's coming from and where the opportunities potentially can be for uh, your, your business and your website. The cost versus conversion section, uh, typically we're going to have two different uh, sections here for you. One is going to be for the last 30 days and the other one's going to be for the last three months. Uh, what we're looking at here is this blue line, if you look at the key here, this signifies cost. So how much was spent on any given day um, and, or sorry, the, the cost for that conversion or for those conversions on average. So in other words, cost per conversion or cost per estimated conversion. And then the black line is the number of conversions. So the volume or the, the count of the conversions. So you can see a lot of time these num these uh, lines are gonna correlate with each other. Um, but also keep in mind when you look at this, uh, you're gonna be able to see what the cost is over on the left side, the right side's gonna be the, the conversions. Um, at the bottom, you're gonna see that it has dates. So uh, if you notice, there wasn't anything on the 6th or the 7th. There wasn't anything on the 13th or 14th and so on. Reason for this is uh, in this particular example, they're lawyers and they're not open on the weekends, so we don't run AdWords on the weekends. Um, so make sure you do take note that this isn't going to be uh, the first through the, you know, 28th or 30th or 31st of the month, this is going to be showing the days where conversions happened. So if no conversions happen that day, there won't be uh, any spot for that. Um, then the other piece for the last three months, um, this is going to summarize basically uh, on a weekly basis for you. Um, the reason why we do this three months is so that you can evaluate our performance. What we want to see is we want to see conversions typically trending up over the last three months on average, and we want to see the cost that uh, 
bluish colored line uh, trending down for the most part. Now there are going to be ebbs and flows, so those things are going to go up and down, but it's a lot easier to evaluate data when we have a larger data sample set. So uh, that's why we also look at uh, the three month trend as well. So if you are new and conversion tracking wasn't properly implemented uh, and we've gone in and we're, we've either fixed it or we're working through getting that set up properly, your three month average as well as your 30 days um, can look a little bit off. So just be aware of that, that this is tracking whatever we're telling AdWords counts as a conversion and anything that was counted as a conversion, whether it's a pause conversion or not, during that time period. So just be aware of that, but this is a great way to evaluate how the ongoing performance is, is working in your account. The campaign performance section uh, is going to give you an overview as well as a breakdown of what's going on inside of each of your AdWords campaigns. So in this example, we have three different campaigns inside of the account called Atria New, Call Only, and then the main one that uh, we've been working on for some time. So uh, this is going to give you a pie chart representation of what the conversion share is. So in other words, where the majority of the conversions coming from, uh, they're coming from the main campaign at 66%. Uh, a new one, a new campaign that we're testing for them, we're getting some traction, uh, still you know, accounting for a third of the conversions. And we have a, a small call only campaign that's really not contributing too much uh, but it's still profitable, so that's why we keep it going. Below that, uh, you'll be able to see the campaign performance uh, breakdown. So budget, this essentially is the budget per day that we have allotted. Um, so we're trying to match up what your target monthly budget is uh, to uh, and have our multiple campaigns match up uh, and have it that budget distributed uh, evenly across those different campaigns. So that's why you see different budget amounts here. But again, this is daily budget. Um, doesn't mean that we necessarily use that every day, but that's what we're shooting for to make sure that we're we're using uh, the entire budget effectively. Impressions, uh, we've gone over that. Clicks, click-through rate. Again, it just breaks it out for each campaign, so you can quickly evaluate. Well, which ones are best uh, click-through rate or best campaign in terms of click-through rate? We can see the main ones performing a little bit better than the new one and the call-only campaign. It's it's still acceptable, uh, not performing quite as strong as the others, uh, but still acceptable. Average CPC, this is uh, something we haven't covered yet. CPC stands for cost per click. So um, there's been 820 clicks in the main campaign and the average click was $2.98. Average position, this is uh, on average where your ad is showing up. Um, the position number one is the top of the page. Position number two is the one below it. Third is below that and so on. Um, typically we don't uh, aim for average position one because you pay a lot more for that, but yet we can still get uh, a good amount of traffic at a much cheaper price. Um, and then this gives us our total cost of what we've spent in that campaign. So the, the most important numbers is how much did we spend? Our, how many conversions did we pick up? So was there volume there? And then most importantly, what was our average cost per conversion? So our average cost per conversion, this is what really helps us to determine, is it profitable? If it's profitable, we want as many of these as we possibly can get uh, with the budget that you've given us. If your business is profitable and you can fulfill on more, if we're hitting cost per conversion and uh, we need more conversions and we're limited, by our budgets. Um, we're going to be asking if we can increase the budget if it makes sense for your business, if you have the ability to bring on more clients. So um, this is a, a great way for you to get an overview as far as how your campaigns are doing. Um, and then of course you can always ask questions on different types of campaigns. We may have a remarketing campaign in there, a display, shopping, a few different types of uh, search campaigns if you have multiple products that we've broken out separately. So this is a simplistic view to give you an idea of what you can expect and what you can look for. The ad group performance section is going to be a more granular view of the campaign uh, performance uh, section that we were looking at uh, just before. So uh, this is going to be listing out top um, ad groups and uh, conversion share based on those uh, ad groups. So the dominating one's going to be uh, traffic catch. Um, and then they have other pieces inside of here as well. So these will all be broken out. Um, so you'll be able to see the impressions, click-through rates for those particular ones. Um, 
cost per conversion. Uh, and so campaigns are going to contain multiple ad groups typically. Um, and so this gives us a little, again, a little bit more granular view of how performance is um, on the ad group level. So same numbers, same metrics uh, for the most part, just not budget is not going to be in here, but uh, all the other pieces uh, you're going to see inside of here. Keyword performance is going to be a breakdown of your top 10 keywords by conversions. Now keep in mind, uh, it's, there's a very good chance you're going to have more keywords that are giving you more con or giving you additional conversions. Um, but for the simplicity of the report, we keep it to the top 10. We can customize this at your request. We can have hun hundreds of uh, top keywords if you want in there. But uh, we want to make sure that we give you just the most important data, the stuff that's really driving your business. Um, and so what you want to look at on here is uh, it's going to show you the keyword, what it is, which campaign it belongs to, how many impressions, clicks, what the click-through rate is, average position, average CPC, uh, first page, cost per click. Uh, so that these are going to be estimates of what Google says, okay, what's the first page CPC cost, top of page CPC, so what it to be in the top three positions, what they're estimating. Um, and for example, we're doing well because we have good quality scores on this particular keyword. We have an average position of 2.8, which would put it in the top of page CPC. We're achieving 475, where Google would estimate it at 568. The first position is quite a bit more, um, so that's why we're not necessarily focusing on the first position because we're still getting a great amount of conversions at a an acceptable cost per conversion price uh, based on what this client uh, needs. This client just needs us to make sure that we're below $25 on our cost per conversion and we're achieving that uh, really well. So we have a little bit of room there if they want more conversions um, to be able to be a little bit more aggressive on our bidding. But we always try to keep it as cheap as possible because we don't profit if you spend more in Google. We profit if you are making money on your business and you're getting clients. Um, so uh, that's keyword performance. Again, if you uh, want to see a larger list, you can always jump into your AdWords account, click on the Keywords tab, click on the Conversions button and sort by conversions. Or if you want to see this on a monthly basis, just let your support team know and we can customize the report to expand this to as many uh, top keywords that we want. Again, do remember to take a look at the date range. Uh, typically, everything is going to be a 30-day day, day date range. But if you've requested anything different, I, you may want to look at uh, that date range as well. So that is keyword performance. Device performance can be an interesting section. Um, just because where everybody's making this huge shift from uh, using desktop computers primarily to using mobile devices, uh, such as phones and tablets, uh, this gives us a breakdown of where your traffic's coming from. So if you don't have a mobile optimized website, uh, this is going to be uh, something that will be very helpful for you. If you do have a mobile optimized website, uh, this just gives you insight. Uh, we're optimizing bids based around what your website or how it handles uh, mobile traffic and how well it converts. But this gives us a, a breakdown in some areas that we're always working through um, to help us to understand, okay, are people going to their phones to find you? Are they going to desktops? Or are they going on tablets? The majority of our traffic for this particular example uh, is uh, by far coming from phones, which that makes sense if you think of a lawyer. Uh, you know, a lot of people who need uh, lawyer help, uh, these folks specialize in uh, traffic tickets and injury, things like that. Um, so I could definitely imagine a lot of people would be doing this from their phones at work, uh, you know, on, like when they're on their break, uh, looking up lawyers in the area. Um, you know, or if uh, after the accident, maybe they looked up somebody, but the, the data is clear that that's where the majority of people are coming from. Click through rates really strong on that. Um, on our ads there, uh, we're picking up the majority of the conversions there, as well as the cost per conversion is really reasonable. Um, you know, that puts us right in the, the middle range of where we've been looking at on all these other ones. Um, so if you find that uh, when you look at this and you don't have a lot of uh, phone traffic. It's probably because we've down bid on users who are using phones because we've identified that your website is not mobile optimized or it's not mobile friendly. Or maybe we've collected enough data that for whatever reason users just aren't uh, converting uh, 
on mobile phones. So that would be an area for you to talk to your web team about, um, as well as your support team here at Atria Media to get an idea of what can we do to improve those numbers. So um, that concludes the, uh, uh, the report tutorial. Again, if you have questions, uh, please reach out to your support team. We're happy to answer any, uh, any specific questions that you have, but you can expect to get these reports um, on a bi-weekly or monthly basis, depending on what service plan you're on. We can always customize these though, if you need on a different schedule, if there's some different data you want to see. Um, but this is essentially what our templates uh, that we use that works for the majority of our clients. Just keep in mind, your data is going to be different. You have different keywords, you have different conversions, um, and your business is unique. So we make sure to set up our reporting so it aligns with your business.